Okay. Okay, let me just do this. Hello, everybody. Oof. Lots to do today. <laughs> Oh, I've been trying to uh, pack what I need for tomorrow's um, team event. Um, yeah, trying to decide what to take with me, <laughs> not bring too much. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be doing that when I finish this video, get that all sorted. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. So. I'm just doing, going to do a quick card today because um, I have a lot of stuff to do <laughs> and I just want to show you this um, designer series paper uh, that I have and then uh, some new dies that I got. So I'll just put you down to my desk and we'll get started. I hope you're all having a good day and looking forward to the weekend too. Okay. Bring that back around. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show you the designer series paper first. Where did I put it? It's down here. So this paper is actually a really big pack of paper. You get 48 sheets in this one, uh, which is double what you would normally get. You get four of each design. Um, so I'll just show you the ones. It's called Delightfully Eclectic. So it's got this one, which is like, um, uh, what's it called? Bubble, bubble bath. Bubble bath. I'll just put them here as I as I get rid of them. This is a good stripey one. It's got lots of different colours in it. And if you like pretzels, <laughs> I'm going to show you the other side in well this is the other side of that, right? So I will be showing you both sides, but not might not be in order. So there's this one of all of the alphabet. So um, you could use this as a layout, or you could cut them if you wanted to do um, a word or yeah. This might be a good one for a child's card. And then this is the other side of that one with the hearts in Pretty Peacock. It's got the odd little pink heart in there. So if you're watching me on YouTube, uh, if you could give me a thumbs up, I'd really like it. Or if, you, if you're if you not a subscriber, if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. So this one, and there's a punch to go uh, that, that corresponds with this one. I don't have it, uh, but yeah. And this one, I'm not sure about this one. And some daisies with petal pink in the background and this looks like fresh curry maybe in the middle. This one, I'm not sure. This is supposed to be lemon and lime, so I'm not really sure, or just leaves. <clears throat> I wish someone was on with me so I can know if anyone can hear me. <laughs> and this one, this looks like a uh, misty moonlight. There's another graph paper. I've seen some people use this paper. Um, with the crafting with you bundle, some strawberries, it's 
cute. Wait, you get a lot of paper in this pack. This one. This looks like crushed curry. And that's the other side of the crushed curry one. Uh, let's just turn it around so we can look properly. Yeah, I really like these little flowers. And then it looks brighter in on my screen, but it looks like this is I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's Bovo Blue or if it's Misty Moonlight. On on the screen it looks nothing like <laughs> Yeah, that's about the. It's hard to. It's hard on camera to see. Look at this one. These would make good card fronts, I think. Anyway, so that's the paper we're going to use, and don't forget it's fifteen percent off for this month. So, and you get so much paper in that pack. Okay, and the dies that I'm using today, I just got these dies uh, recently and I haven't really used them yet, so I figured I would use them today. These are called the Nested Essential Dies. So I'm going to use these ones today. Okie dokie, let's put them up there. Okay. Going to get my big uh, stamping cutting and boss machine out. I'm going to be using the artistically inked because we're going to make it a birthday card. And I'm going to use one of the sentiments from the Pansy Patch for inside. Okay, let's do our die cutting first. Okay, so, oops, got some glue stuck to this one. So let's see what we're going to do. We're going to use this piece and I'm going to do this in the this size. I wonder if I can do no. I'll have to do one at a time, I think. Bring this up a bit. Oops. Okay. do it that way. I think I'm going to have to stand up for this one. Okay, then I'm going to do a layer in basic black, uh, the biggest one, this is the biggest die. Put that here.
Okay, so this one is going to layer on here, like so. And then I'm going to actually put these back where they belong so I don't lose anything. I'm going to stamp the next one before I die cut it. So I'm going to let's bring this out. I'm going to stamp this with the happy birthday. I'm going to do happy birthday in tuxedo black memento ink. And then I'm going to die cut it with, is it this one? Yeah, this one. I'm going to die cut it with this one, like that. Let me just take my name away here. run this through and then we're done with the dies. When I first saw these dies I thought oh they look like coffins. <laughs> Freesia card base, which is the usual A2 size, so eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at four and a quarter. Okay, and then I'm going to do a layer of black. That's going to just layer right here, like that. And then I'm using some the designer series paper from the Masterfully Made. I, I've showed you that one before. Um, so I'm going to do it. I have to watch this paper because there's actually um, um, there's words on it. So you have to make sure you're um, putting it the right way. <laughs> okay, let me get some glue. So if you're here, please say hello. Okay, which way is it up? This way. I have to stand up into this. Make sure I go on straight because I'm not the best at getting things on straight. Okay, then I'm going to. That's why I like this glue because you can move it around a bit before. We're just stuck down completely. Okay, let's double check that again. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. And then we'll glue this one down. Onto the basic black. Move it around a wee bit until it's exactly where I want it. 
because this one's going to go here. I think I'll do this one on. I think I will use some dimensionals on this one. So, what are you? What are you guys up to this weekend? I'm glad that the smoky smell and the seems to have gotten a lot better today because of the rain that we had. So, so I have to pack up all my crafty stuff that I want to bring with me. And then I'm going to visit my sister and her family for a few days. Maybe I'll get her to do some crafting too. There we go, like that. And then this one we're going to put across the way like that. Let's bring this down a bit so you can see it a bit better. Oops. So we'll just glue that in the middle, I think. That. Okay, and then we'll put some bling on. But what bling shall I use? Okay, I have some basic black dots here, matte black dots, and I also have some fresh freesia dots. Hmm, I think I'll use fresh freesia. Usually I use my take a pick, but I packed it away. <laughs> okay, let's put one up here on this petal. And then one down here. And then maybe one on right about here. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to do the inside piece. So for the inside, I'm going to use wishing you a little extra happiness just be oh, right away, just because you're you. <laughs> um, where is it? Okay. Do this with black in my okay. Just because you're you, and then I have a couple of leftover strips here. I'm going to use this side. I'm going to put on the inside of the card. I'm going to put them down this side. Okay. That one. This side. Like that. And then we'll glue it on the inside. Okay, let me just get that. Okay, 
with my ink over my ink because you know I always get it all over me okay so I'm not going to use those ones so this is my card for today I hope you like it let me just change my camera and let me know what you think about this designer series paper I will be using this a lot for classes for sure because you get so much of it um, There we go. So, oh, we can see this side would be better. Um, yeah, so oh, let's do it that way. So I hope you like it. And um, yeah, so I hope everyone has a great weekend. And, um, and it is, uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> I will be posting pictures um, tomorrow on my Facebook page um, of the event um, so you can see it. Okay, I'll talk to you all later and I'll see you next Wednesday. Okay, bye-bye everybody.